Karibu sana katika channel ya Skills Path Networks. Tunaendelea kufundisha somo la biology practical. Tushamaliza classification ya of mushroom, classification of red mud. Sasa leo twende moja kwa moja katika classification ya fenny plant. Katika mtihani wako, katika mtihani wa kidato cha 4, you can be given fenny plant na tunatumia kitabu chetu pendwa kabisa ambacho ni ni itakuwa ni, ni mkombozi katika kuweza kutufaulisha katika somo la biology practical ambalo na max ya msini kabisa unaweza kuscore kwa kutumia score 50 50 au 50 au 45 out of 50 ni kizuri sana nimesema nitakuandikia namba yangu hapo mwisho utakuwa unaiona inatembea katika video hii na utaweza kunipigia kama unataka hard copy kiko tayari kabisa kwa ajili ya kutusaidia ni kitabu kwa ajili ya wanafunzi pia lakini mwalimu anaweza kutumia kama kufundishia lakini ni vizuri sana ukampatia wanafunzi wako ili aweze kujisomea tunasema this book contains we say direct understanding akisoma haitaji mwelekezo wa mwalimu anasoma ana meza anaweza kuweza kujibu mtihani wake today we go to classification of fenny plant maswali ambayo yanaulizwa haya haya ndo majibu yake the first is identify specimen x by common name common name of fenny plant is fenny plant common name of this fenny plant kingdom is plantae phylum phycinophyta what is the other features of specimen x na kusema tunaweza kumuita specimen x lakini here tutumie fen observe features of fen plant it has rhizome it has true roots stem and the leaf like structure it has true stem roots and the leaf like structure it has adventitious roots that is it observable features ukipewa tunasema observe features kwa sababu x and structure when we be provided to observe what do you observe what do you see about that fenny plant that is it observable observable characteristics observable features what is the distinctive distinguishing characteristics of fenny to its phylum phylicinophyta it has a leaf which produces produce this poor structure called the fronts it has a leaf which produces spore structure which is called the fronts it has a structure called the sorry or singular in singular is called the sorus but in the plural is sorry sorry s o r i it has vascular bundle or vascular tissue xylem and phloem it involves alternation generation it has true leaf and the roots like structure tumesema it involves alternation generation means use both section and reproduction and their section lakini distinction characteristic another is it has true leaf roots like structure what is habitat of fern plant what if any where fern found terrestrial areas in moist areas damp and rivers mode of nutrition autotrophic mode of nutrition this is autotrophs mode of reproduction we produce both sexually and the asexual asexually what is the advantage of fenny plant? Fenny plant grow as an ornament in home and office. Fenny is a source of food for other organisms. This is leaves. 
can be eaten by goats, other animals which is going to herbivore, which is herbivore, is going to, to eat it. So it's a source of food. Using scientific studies in biology laboratories, of course, here we we study here. Then in your exam, you are going to to see the specimen reality of the specimen. So you use in scientific studies in biology laboratories. That is the advantage. Finally, produce fresh air, oxygen for other organisms. This is plant. Fen is a major component of corn. That is the advantage of fen. Disadvantage found as a weeds in many places. Inaonekana kama ni mabugu inaleta shida. Found as a weeds in many places. That is the disadvantage. Economic importance, we say you join an advantage and a disadvantage, you get economic importance. I think now that is the end of our lesson classification of fenny plant. Welcome again. The, the, the next lesson we are going to see classification of mossy plant. Thank you. Welcome. But don't forget share, like this video to reach more and more other people in order to complete our slogan, learn more, teach more.